Welcome a very special guest and best-selling author, Neil Pesricha, has gone through his share of ups and downs in life, but managed to keep a positive attitude. So the writer of the Book of Awesome series that we know and love learned a few things about enjoying life. And now Neil is sharing his secrets to being happy. It's called The Happiness Equation. And here to tell us more about it, I have a uh, hot off the press here. Want nothing plus do anything equals have everything. And I'd like for you to explain this equation to <laughs> us. Uh, but first things first, welcome sure. to the show and congratulations. Thanks for me. And you just told me during the break that this will be number one on the best selling list here in Canada and internationally. So that's huge success already. Yeah. There's a great appetite for people being happy and knowing what exactly that means. So tell us a little bit about this equation you discovered. Sure, absolutely. Well, I mean, it's amazing that it's taken off because I just, well, I'm a new dad, you know. I wanted my son to be happy, just like any parent wants. And the happiest equation started as a letter, you know, on how to live a happy life. Mm. And so what I found in my research, but also in talking to younger people these days, is that truly what they want isn't to get into the best school, isn't to make the most money. They want contentment. They want freedom. They want happiness. Graduating s surveys actually show that university students want happiness more than wealth now for the first time ever mm. in society, which is a huge change. And in Google, if you type how to be, the first drop down is happy. And by the way, it goes rich, pretty, model, and real estate agent. No so way. happiness is number one. Yeah, that's what we want. And so in the happiness equation, I put forward the model want nothing, contentment plus do anything, freedom equals have everything, happiness. Okay, there you have it. And it yeah. sounds simple, but I think that that feeling of contentment that yeah. comes from within and not just the fleeting sort of superficial happiness that people grab at, the rich, the fame, the attention, social yeah. media, all of these things, um, that place that comes from within is truly the key. So you've been able to tap into that and make it yeah. easy for people? Yeah, I, I mean, you, you mentioned the book of awesome. That was the observation of awesome things. This book really is the application of awesome things. How do you actually do it? What's the step-by-step -step guide? There's 75,000 books written about happiness, truly. Mm. But, you know, for my son, it's like, how do you, what's the, what's the IKEA wardrobe kind of manual? You know, how do you make this happen in your life? And so in the book, I have all kinds of secrets, things like going on three 20-minute walks a week, doing some meditation, a journaling practice. They're simple, but as you pointed out, we're all too busy these days. Right. You know, so the book doesn't offer new age wisdom. It offers age-old wisdom. Mm. It's things that we all know but we just don't do, and the whole goal of the book is to get people to start practicing some of, some of the simple things that are proven to drive your happiness. Okay, so some of those things, and I mean, we are uh, in the middle of tough times here yeah. in our province, and yeah. uh, speaking to an audience who could have those concerns, well, money is stressing me out, or, mm -hmm. you know, unemployment, things like this, so it's really that... The 20 minute walks, the meditation, sure. are those really going to change people's lives? Well, I do have another secret in the book called How to Make More Money Than a Harvard MBA. Right. A Harvard MBA makes a graduating salary of $120,000. People get very obsessed with these numbers, but I do a little a bit of math and I compare the Harvard MBA salary to a teacher and to an assistant retail manager, and it turns out all three jobs pay $28 per hour hmm. when you do the math. Harvard MBA works way more hours. They don't have time to spend with their kids or time to shovel their own driveway or time to watch their garden come up in the spring, which I know will happen eventually sometime around soon. So, <laughs> so it's like the point is to overvalue yourself, okay? Mm -hmm. I know the economy is in a hard place, but think about your time. Know that it's the precious, most precious resource of all. The richest man in the world can't buy more time. So how do you overvalue yourself to make sure you're doing something you, you actually love? Mm -hmm. And the richest man in the world can't necessarily buy happiness or contentment, no. as you mentioned. Yep. Now, was it really, it was your son, you mentioned uh, to me during the break as well that yeah. your wife revealed to you that you were going to be having a baby on your honeymoon, which yeah. is so exciting. On the plane. On the plane. <laughs> now, is this something that has really changed you? You seem yeah. to have had this positive attitude for a long well, time. Oh, thank you for saying that. You know, my parents were immigrants to Canada. My mom is from Kenya. My dad is from India. I feel lucky that as a child, like a lot of people, I got to grow up under the sense of wonder that an immigrant has in this new country. You know, when they went skiing for the first time, it was my first time. Yeah. When we went canoeing for the first time, it was my first time. And so I got that awe and wonder for the world around us. I have another secret on remembering the lottery and appreciating how much we already have. Just the fact that we are alive, that we get to live in Canada, that we have our health, that we have you know, so much going for us is something that I try to appreciate every day. Mm. It's not always easy, right. but it can be done. Yes, these privileges uh, mm -hmm. that we sometimes take for granted. Okay, great reminders. And Neil is in town. Of course, you can meet him as well, Indigo Signal Hill. Today, 7.30 p.m., you'll be signing books and I imagine answering a few questions on the equation as well. Congratulations to you Thanks, and continued Jill. success. Safe travels. I know you're uh, off on the road for a little while with yep. the book. So uh, best of luck to you.